Three, two, one, go shoot! Oh! Oh, I'm G. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another BBG video. Today, we're gonna be showing you the finally perfected version of our Dremel launcher. So, if you guys watched from our previous videos, we have used card 3000 RPM launcher. We have tried to create the Dremel into a launcher, into a Beyblade high speed launcher, but it didn't really work out. We went into the lab, we finally figured out the formula into creating our ultimate launcher. Before we get to the test spin, let's show you how we made this happen. First, we have the Beyblade launcher plate. Okay, so that's the first part. And then, instead of using our best friend super glue, we decided to use our new best friend, a screw and a washer. So this holds the plate a lot better than the super glue did. Because <laughs> super glue, whenever it dried up, it just became a blob. Yeah, it, it was didn't really work properly. Kind of brittle a little bit too. Exactly. Now after like doing this, it's like you don't say yeah. the super glue was a bad idea. After consulting with NASA and other consulting firms, we have decided this is the best way to do it. Consulting firm as in the YouTube comments. And we have, of course, the Dremel bit. Okay, so get our screwdriver. Basically, you want to put this rubber piece in like that. That way it holds it together. Whenever you launch the Beyblade, it won't actually shake that much. Because that's a problem we were having before. Gonna have our washer and basically just screw it in. We just insert the Beyblade launcher bit into our Dremel 200 series Beyblade launcher. Now we're gonna have to buy like three more Dremels just to start doing full out Dremel battles. Dude, I don't think the battles are doable. It's too fast. It's gonna actually destroy the stadium. Dude, that's the point. Are you guys ready to see this? More destruction, the better. Obviously the tachometer is not 100% accurate, but we're gonna compare it with our Dremel launcher and see how much this thing can get. Yo! What's the average? 43k. Oh 43.8. Fastest launcher ever. So, theoretically speaking, this one is way faster than our previous manual launcher. Sick life. Do you Extreme. Know? I don't think these viewers are ready to see this, but just watch. Don't even blink. It's that good. Remember kids, don't try this at home. We're trained Beyblade professionals. If that's even a thing. Let's go, dude. What? <laughs> Look at that! Yo. Look at this! Do you know what parts that was? That was a nothing driver. And guess what? The thing is, it's so smooth. It launches so well, too. You know, before we were like shaking. Now it's like, launch, and then you Number two, best launch, Galaxy Zeus. Okay, heavy, stamina, supposed to be a very stable bay. <laughs> stamina type. Do it one more time, let's again? go one more time. Dude, imagine battles with this. That's why I say we need to buy like three more Dremels so that we can do Dremel battles. <laughs> Yo. Siege Excalibur. Let's go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Yo. That massive speed up. Dang, Dang son. Oh boy. <laughs> you see it shaking the stadium? Oh my god. Three, two, one. Whoa! Yo, look how fast it is! Yo! Alright, kids, do it again. I have to control this so that way it comes out right at the max, like the climax of the launch. Dang, son. Oh my goodness. This launcher, though, 
All right, we got Storm Spriggan right over here. Man, the only dual air Beyblade that we've used for this test. <laughs> we got Oracalcum. Massive defense type. Oh my god! <laughs> Self-destruct so hard. Three, two, one, go shoot! <laughs> Dude, it's too fast, man. Shot right out. It's too fast. Guys, I call this the earthquake attack. Three, <laughs> two, one, let it rip! Yo! <laughs> Deep chaos. Three, two, one, go, go shoot! <laughs> With the bearing drive, bearing driver. Dang, how that fast it fast. is! Tornado wyvern. Three, two, one, go, go shoot! shoot. <laughs> Three, two, one, go shoot! Oh, holy dang! <laughs> that wasn't even its final form. Attack type, attack mode, attack driver. Let's go! Three, two, one, let it. Yo! <laughs> we'll do one more test. We launch two blade blades together. Let's go, man. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Seize Excalibur. Snipe <laughs> <laughs> so hard. <laughs> Dang! It's a marathon! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Alright guys, so as you can see, most of these Beyblades couldn't even handle it in the stadium. It was just too crazy. None of these stadiums could contain the power of our Dremel launcher. But what do you guys think? Tell us in the comments below, what should we do with this crazy launcher? Obviously battle with it, right? Really? But is it too dangerous? Who do you guys want to see in a battle? The most successful mod we have ever done. This is the most perfected high-speed launcher ever. This is sick. Oh my god! So remember guys, don't try this at home. We have gone through a lot of testing in order to make sure this is safe. Um, make sure you like the video, subscribe, check out our other Geek Dosage videos, and there's tons of other crazy content coming your way soon. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification, join the notification squad, yeah, boys. Notification, notification. Let go. Tell us in the comments below what you think of this Beyblade launcher. Also, which Beyblade we should put up against. Dremel launcher versus another Dremel launcher. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you have an account, and as always, Geeks out!